Hi kids, now we have another grammar class about used to. Okay, used to is uh, used to um, for actions that we did in the past. For example, when you were very young. No, imagine yourself as a baby. No, you used to drink bottles of milk. Uh, you used to eat. Uh, of like a banana maybe you used to sleep all day okay used to can be also for actions habits that you had in the past for example we used to go to school now we have english classes okay and we're going to check the the correct usage of used to so we are going to to look at this presentation okay it's very simple. It's a very simple uh, uh, point, okay? It's about past, and if you are able to use simple past, that now you are experts in simple past, it's going to be very easy. Look, uh, grandma says, I didn't use to wear glasses, but I wear glasses now, okay? This means that in, in the past, she didn't use to wear glasses, but now she does, okay? I used to go to the theater uh, very often when I was young, but I don't go now, okay? For example, we used to go to the cinema, but now with this uh, coronavirus and pandemic thing, we don't go anymore, okay? Let's look at this, used to. Uh, used to is located in the past. Okay, this is the present, this is a future, and used to is for activities that we did in the past. For example, I used to play tennis. I don't do this anymore. You used to play tennis. He used to play tennis. She used to play tennis. It used to play tennis. We used to play tennis, they used to play tennis. When we use used to, we need to use this uh, form of used to, and then we're going to use the verb in present. Always, when we have this word to, the verb is going to be in the simple form. I used to play, I used to walk, I used to drive, I used, uh -huh, and we don't have uh, any change in the in the verbs okay all, all the all the pronouns are exactly like that okay so this is very easy mm -hmm. examples karen used to play toy cars but she doesn't play now jellies used to eat meat but now she's a vegetarian homer used to be fat but he's thin now and senior used to eat chocolate a lot but she doesn't eat now Melek used to watch TV very often, but, but she doesn't watch TV now. Hmm? Now look. Used to. Okay. Used to, in old days, people used to listen to gramophone records. Okay. Now we don't do that. Okay. We don't use this kind of records. Okay. Now they listen to CD players. Well, now we don't listen to CD players. Now we, we listen to online music, no? So, for example, in old days, women used to wash their dirty clothes by hand, like this in the past. But now we use washing machines, okay? In the past, the negative form i didn't use to okay the only thing that we are going to do is to use didn't and because we have didn't like in the simple past we use use and the verb in present and that's the structure is very easy i didn't use to play tennis you didn't use to go to school she didn't use to play soccer it didn't use to sleep all day we didn't use to take online classes. They didn't use to go out every day. Hmm? 
Look. Ali didn't used to watch horror films, but she watches now. Uh, Sarah didn't used to speak Spanish, but he speaks now. We didn't used to eat fast food, but we eat fast food now. People didn't used to eat credit cards for shopping, but they use it now. Sheila didn't used to have long hair last year, but she has got a long hair now, okay? So this is very, very, very easy. Just remember that we are talking about habits in the past. We're going to continue with this presentation. Didn't use to. People didn't use to communicate through mobile phones. They used to communicate through telegraphs. Mm -hmm. In the past, they didn't used to communicate through mobile phones and they used to, com uh, to communicate through telegraphs. This is a telegraph. It's a machine that you press this, this thing and you, you, you start making like noises like tup, 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 tup. And, and, and each noise depending on the uh, on the speed of the noise it, it's going to be like letter a b and you start forming the words i think it, it's really complicated i i i don't know how to to do that okay why uh, women didn't used to wash their clothes with washing machines they used to wash their clothes by hand the same here we have no washing machines, clothes by hand. Didn't use to wash their clothes with washing machines. Okay. It says question form. How can we make a question using used to? Well, we have to use this, the pronoun, then used to and the verb as I told you. Uh, for example, did I used to play tennis? Did you used to drink from a bottle? Did he used to go to his office? Did she used to travel to Paris once a year? Did it used to eat uh, vegetables? Did we used to go to school? Did they used to do homework every day? Hmm? And the possible answers can be yes, I did, or no, I didn't. Okay, for all the pronouns, it's the same. So for example, if I ask you, did you used to drink for a bottle? Yes, I did. No, she didn't. Did she used to eat vegetables? Yes, she did, or no, she didn't. That's a short answer. Okay, you can use a long answer, for example. Did she used to eat vegetables? Yes, she used to eat vegetables. Or no, she didn't use to eat vegetables. Mm -hmm. Both answers are correct. Let's clean this and look. Um, example of questions. Did Yesim used to go to school with her mother when she was in primary school? Yes, she did. Or oh, no, she didn't. Did Goxel used to wear tie when he was in high school? Yes, he did. Or oh, no, he didn't. Did people used to eat frozen food? No, they didn't. Oh, yes, they did. The children used to play computer games 30 years ago? No, they didn't. Did you used to fly a kite when you were a child? Yes, I did. Okay. Look at this. Did used to, we have to make a question. For example, did, did he use to ride a horse, okay? Did he used to ride a horse? Yes, he did. No, he didn't. Mm -hmm. Look, we have a, a, another kind of question. Did people used to travel by horse carriages? Yes, no? Yes, they did. Let's go with another example. This one. Did people use 
to use calculator to make calculation? No, they didn't. They used to do sums, uh, additions, etc., using their brains. Now we are very used to the technology, no? So sometimes we we don't practice using our minds, and that is not very good. But let's continue. This picture. We have to make positive sentences, okay? In grandfather tell evening story the my, okay? First, we have to start with the subject, my what? My grandfather, what? Used to tell stories in the evenings. Now let's see if it's correct. Mm -hmm. My grandfather used to tell stories in the evenings. Let's go with the other. These words, remember, we start with the subject, okay? In this case, he's what, or what, his, maybe his uncle, okay? His uncle, what? We need this, no? His uncle used to, what? His uncle used to grow vegetables in the garden. Okay, let's see if it's correct. His uncle used to grow vegetables in the garden. Let's go with the next. Grandmother bread make my home at. I have to start with the subject. Okay, in this case, my grandmother, and we have my grandmother used to make Breath at home, no? I, that's what I think. And I'm sure you think the same. Let's see. My grandmother used to make bread at home. So this is correct. Let's go with the other. Neighbors, we visit and relatives often more. Okay, so we have to find the subject first. We. Okay, we used to, we used to visit neighbors and relatives more often. Okay, that's the correct order. So let's see. We used to visit neighbors and relatives more often. Okay, I think we have one more. By carriages, horse, we somewhere go. Okay, so we have to find the subject. In this case, it's we. Then what we need, we used to, we used to go somewhere by horse. Carriages. No, let's see if we have the correct answer. We used to go somewhere by horse carriages. Okay, problems? No, of course not. You're very intelligent. Let's continue with this. Now we have to make negative sentences. Okay, for example, my father used to tell stories in the evenings. For creating a negative sentence, we are going to use didn't use to. Remember that? Didn't use to. And the sentence is going to be exactly the same, only using didn't use to. Look, this, this is very easy. My father didn't use to tell stories in the evenings. Okay, look. 
my father didn't use to tell stories in the evenings. Now, the second one. His uncle used to grow vegetables in the garden. His uncle, what? His uncle didn't use to grow vegetables in the garden. Uh huh. Now the third one. My grandmother used to make bread at home. Remember this? My grandmother, what? Exactly. My grandmother didn't used to make bread at home. This one for we used to visit neighbors and rel relatives more often. We, yes, we didn't use to visit neighbors and relatives more often. Okay, let's check. It's here. Okay, now, number five. We used to go somewhere by horse carriages. So, we just have to use the didn't use to. Tell me the sentence. And yes, it said the correct. We didn't use to go somewhere by horse carriages. Okay? Let's see. Let's go with the questions. Make questions. My father used to tell stories in the evenings. I told you that for a question, we are going to use this, okay? We are going to start with this, the subject, and then we are going to use use to, but in present, okay? Because when we use this, we use the verb in present, okay? You know that. Mm -hmm. So, did my grandfather used to tell stories in the evenings? And we need the question mark. And that's all, as easy as that. Okay, so let's see the next. According to, to the instructions that I'm telling you, his uncle used to grow vegetables in the garden. Tell me the question. Okay, let's see if it's correct. Yes, did his uncle used to grow vegetables in the garden? Let's do the other sentence. My grandmother used to make bread at home. I told you that we need to use this at the beginning and this instead of used to. Okay, so tell me the correct sentence. Excellent, it's here. Let's go with the next. We used to visit neighbors and relatives more often. Tell me the question. Of course, did you use to visit neighbors and relatives more often? And the last, we used to go somewhere by horse carriages. We have to start with this. We have to use used to instead of used to. And the question is, excellent. Very good, kids. Problems with this? No, it's easy, no? I, I, I think it's easy. And for you, it's very easy. You are very intelligent. Okay, let's continue. Mm -hmm. Look. Uh, used to. 20 years ago and today. Living in Istanbul and living in Borsa. Be a teacher, retired. Thin, overweight. Black hair, white hair. Have a dial phone, have a mobile phone. Okay? So I have to make sentences. Look. Sally used to live in Istanbul, but he lives in Borsa now. Okay? This is what she used to do, and this is what she or he does now. Mm -hmm. Sally used to be a teacher, but he is retired now. Sally used to be thin, but he's overweight now. Sally used to have black hair, but he has white hair now. Sally used to have a telephone, but he has a mobile phone now. Okay? Here we have the...
Negative sentences. Sally didn't used to live in Borsa, but he used to live in Istanbul. Sally didn't used to be retired, but he used to be a teacher. Sally didn't used to be overweight, but he used to be thin. Sally didn't used to have white hair, but he used to have black hair. Sally didn't used to have a mobile phone, but she used to have a dial phone. Now let's check the questions. Where did Sally used to live 20 years ago? I'm using where because I want to know the place, okay? And the answer is he used to live in Istanbul. Mm -hmm. Let's go with the second one. Okay? Did Sally used to have the phone 20 years ago? Yes or no? Yes, he did. What did Sally used to have 20 years ago? He used to have what? A dial phone 20 years ago. Did Sally used to live in Borsa 20 years ago? According to this chart? No. So you say, no, he didn't. Okay? If you want to ask questions, you can make it this way, trying to find specific information like work or you can ask for direct uh, information, which the answer is going to be yes or no, like the Sally used to have a telephone 20 years ago. Okay, so now you have to choose the correct one. Tell me the correct answer. Celine used, yes, Celine used to play golf. Sang to read, to read, read me a lot. Sang what? Used to. Very good. Did Halim what? Used to because it's a question. Perfect. Yusuf negative. Remember, didn't. Excellent. Another question. Did we used to watch cartoons? Did we used to watch cartoons? Uh, the, no, do we used to watch or did we used to watch cartoons? Which is the correct? A, B, C, or D? Okay, now let's see. Number one, correct. Number two, incorrect. Why? We have a double two. We did, I, I, I didn't pay attention. Look, it's very important to pay attention. It's similar to Cambridge test. Okay, exactly the same that happens to you happened to me in this moment. Okay, the next is correct, and the next is correct, and the next is correct. Mm -hmm. Now we have some others. Uh, your grandfather listened the news on the radio, which is the correct one. Yes, very good. Next, I play volleyball, but I don't play anymore. I'm too old. A, B, C, or D? Yes, letter D. Eight, we used to travel on horseback, but we, A, B, C, or D? D, T, sorry, because it's present. We're talking about that we don't do it anymore. Nine, he drink Coke, but he doesn't drink anymore. He what? A, B, or C, or D? Yes, letter C, very good. And 10, my make yogurt, but she doesn't make now. A, B, C, or D, tell me. Are you sure? Really? Yes, excellent. So, I think that you don't have any more problems with used to. Uh -huh. Remember that used to is used for habits in the past and, and, and activities that you did 
um, as a habit, okay? So, see you next time. Have an excellent day.